hello everyone welcome back to my page life with arike so today's recipe i'm gonna be calling it um pepper fried chicken sauce and we're gonna be making it with some fried sweet potato and some fried plantain so i just sit down in my house trying to make some dinner Thinking about what I'm going to make and then I develop this recipe. But trust me, if you give it a try, you're not going to regret it. You're going to love it. It's a very easy and delicious di um, dinner to make. And if you are looking for something very light or you just have some potato or some plantain, you don't know what to do with it, follow this recipe. You will definitely enjoy it. So I'm going to be using my um, chicken thyme, the boneless chicken thyme for this recipe. I will always prefer the chicken thyme more than the chicken breast because there is a big difference between the two. So I have my chicken thyme. I'm just going to start prepping my chicken thyme. I uh, try to cut it in a chunk, then I'm going to give it a good wash with some lemon juice. You can use a um, uh, fresh lemon for this, but I always love to save time using the lemon juice. So I'm going to wash it with some lemon juice with some salt and some clean water. So after that, I had all my seasoning powder, of course, salt for taste. I'm going to be leave, uh, leaving everything that I use for, to season the chicken in the caption. So then now I, I had my... Um, every cream uh the whipping every cream i had it to my chicken i'm gonna be cracking one egg into this chicken as well so after that i'm gonna also add some um cinnamon um, um seed oil uh, i don't know if i said it right <laughs> so i'm gonna be adding some soy sauce too it's optional you don't have to use the soy sauce and the sesame seed oil but i always love the taste they always give my uh, food extra taste that i really love so i try to mix everything together well coated in the seasoning then after that i'm going to be adding some cornstarch about two tablespoons of cornstarch um to the um, chicken i'm going to mix everything together the purpose of the cornstarch is just to give like the uh, crispiness to the chicken you don't have to use it if you don't want it but i just want the chicken to be a little bit crispy so i have my sweet potato that i cut in a chunk in the bowl i had some water i had some salt then i set it aside i let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the salt will marinate into the sweet potato so after that i'm gonna go ahead and start frying my chicken thigh so i had about one cup of cooking oil into uh, my frying pan you can see i started frying the chicken you can see what i'm saying look at how beautiful they look after frying because of the uh cornstarch then after that i scoop it out from the hole i went ahead and do the same thing with my planting very nice and very fresh then after that i switched to my sweet potato i give it a good fry too so trust me if you have never fried your sweet potato you are missing something they taste so delicious so i love it uh the sweet one i love to fry them a lot better than the regular potatoes so i went ahead and fried my uh, sweet potatoes so for the peppers i'm going to be using mini bell pepper you can use the regular peppers you can use um uh, anyone you uh, you like is either the mini one or the regular but the mini one always tastes so sweet so i have some uh, I, I chop them in a uh, roughly chopped with some onion and some habanero. Uh, then after that, I have some cooking oil in the pot. I'm going to be frying my stew. I have some chopped onion. Then I had my chopped uh, pepper mix. Then after that, I'm going to be adding some seasoning powder, the maggi, the salt, the garlic and parsley, thyme, curry, turmeric. Add any kind of seasoning that you choose to uh, that you, you choose to use or the one that you love you good to go then i give it a good stir i let it fry for about uh 10 minutes then i added all my chicken the fried chicken that i have fried earlier i had everything together well coated in the uh in the sauce you can see how they look so i let them sit in the sauce for about five minutes on my stove on a low heat so i pour everything in the bowl look at how they look they look beautiful I feel like eating the whole thing even when I'm trying to finish the the food. That is how delicious they look. I'm telling you, this recipe is so good. So I put it in the bowl and you can see 
then the food is almost ready then after that i just went ahead and started putting everything together the family love it everyone love it the kid love it so it tastes so delicious i hope somebody is going to give it a try so don't forget to click the notification bell don't forget to click the uh, subscription button so that anytime i upload the new video you're going to be notified right away and you can also follow me on instagram and on facebook for more of my recipe i always do it like a quick video for anybody that will have interest thank you for watching i really uh, appreciate all your time spending to watch all my video and you know thank you guys i love you <laughs> bye so i hope somebody's gonna give it a try it's a very good one and a very light food and this is the time for ramadan i hope somebody's gonna give it a try bye